and the warm weather, but others might be trying to get some work done. For example, some might be trying to make sure that they can match Brian Hickey's pace in the upcoming Epi's Great Race, and Brian is out there early this morning getting in a little practice on the clock. You know, I know I can run, I know I can ride a bike, but this is the big question mark for a lot of people. This is the kayak leg of Epi's Great Race, the oldest triathlon around, and we've got Dan Crandall out here with Current Adventures to tell us a little bit more about kayaking, whether you're doing Epi's Great Race or not, or maybe this weekend you're taking the family out on Lake Natoma for some kayaking. And Dan, one thing I've learned from hanging out with you enough times is that it's not all about the guy with the biggest arms that gets down the river the fastest. No. Uh, what is the proper technique to make this boat glide? Well, you know, it definitely is technique, and a lot of people think it's arms. It really has a lot to do with your legs, with your core. You know, obviously, training makes a difference, but the technique of it is thinking about being loose, releasing the different parts of your body so that you can get more extension, more rotation, really get the drive through to the boat without overriding it, if you will, okay. like overpowering it. All right, show us what you mean. Sure. So you want to rotate with your torso, reach out, grab the water out in front of you. Your hands are loose. You're going to get good extension out of that. And then as you're rotating through, grab the water again. The idea is to grab the water, pull the boat past that spot, right? Rotating your torso through, driving with your feet at the same time that you're planting that paddle out in front of you for each stroke. Okay, of course, I just ran into him, which happens a lot at Epi's Great Race to get everybody out there on the river. And, um, and that's the other strategy. You may have the line you want to take, but you may not get that line with so many people out there on the river at once. What's your uh, advice for folks that may be doing this for their first time to get through the crowd? Oh, you bet. That's one of the big things we work with the, all the students that we train for Epi's Great Race on is knowing where they're at on the course, knowing which rapids are coming up, and realizing that you don't want to be right on somebody's tail or even right alongside of them when you come into some of these sections of the river. You want to actually get in front of them or separate yourself from those other boaters. Admittedly, there are points within the race where there's a lot of boats out there, but if you know where you're at, you can really make a decision ahead of time to position yourself well relative to other boaters mm -hmm. so that even if they wipe out, you're going to get through clean that kind of thing and uh -huh. strategies like drafting and stuff come into play for the longer straighter stretches okay. saving your energy and on that note we'll wrap it up with this the uh, river is down but there still is water in the river to get down the river and uh, I mean there is a lot a lot of flatter sections this year less current to deal with well there are but but actually it's not that noticeably different there's plenty of water for the race course uh -huh. uh, you know nobody's gonna really have a big issue with that at all um, Admittedly, there's a couple rapids that come in and narrow down a little bit more, but other than that, lots of water out there. It's not going to really be a problem at all. All right, so mark your calendars. If you haven't signed up yet, July 19th is Epi's Great Race, and Deirdre, as you alluded to in the beginning there, next week I'll be part of the uh, Great Team Day where I'll be setting the pace for the Ironmen. Nice. So uh, if you beat my time, you get a breakfast. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's going to be awesome. too hard to beat. <laughs> you know what? Big picture, it's all for fun, but it is uh, just always a great day out there, and it's nice that you know you get a little bit of practice in before you do it. All right, we'll see you guys later. Okay. Breakfast on me. You should, you know what? You should just like paddle home. We'll pick you up an old sack. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. I need the exercise. <laughs> I'll see you there at night. Let's get out of here, Dan. <laughs>